Good morning, I'm Marta Kutfried from the Department of Nanobiotechnology from the Institute of Biology for Warsaw University of Life Science. Today I would like to present some of the data from my research project which was about the graphene oxide as a base, graphene oxide as a delivery platform for microRNA and a different type of the cancer, especially glioblastoma cells and tissue. About the nanometric scale, we mainly work with the different type of the nanomaterials in our department. The Richard Feynman, the one of the godfather of the nanobiotechnology, during his lecture, he started to think about what if we create the new types of the particles uh, by atoms by atoms by atoms. And that's why nowadays we can work with the organic or inorganic nanoparticles, but in our department we very often work also with the nanomaterials, especially the carbon-based nanomaterials like the fullerens, nanotubes, and the graphene oxide. Over here we can see the morphology obtained by the scanning electron microscopy of the graphene oxide, and also those pictures present some of the benefits of that materials. Those benefits, especially when we think about the physiochemical properties, can be useful in the biological application, especially in the nanomedicine. But let me start with the physical and the chemical features of the graphene oxide. This is the structure with the only one carbon thickness. So it's very tiny, but it also presents to this structure those size duality it's also beneficial for the biological application. We also can observe the sp2 hybridized bond of the carbon and the oxygen atoms arranged in the special um, carbon hexagon pattern which we, we, which we can observe over here on that uh, slides. Graphene oxide, it's also very easy for the functionalization uh, by the other types of the nanoparticles. First, in our department, it starts with the functionalization of the graphene oxide with uh, silver nanoparticles and start to think about, about those complex as a efficient uh, complex for the antibacterial uh, investigation. So we treat by those complex, over here we can observe the, uh, the quite a large agglomerates of the silver nanoparticles on the surface of the graphene oxide and treat the bacteria, different types of the bacteria. And what we observe, that those complex has got a high efficiency when we think about the antibacterial properties. So it means that they effectively cross the membranes uh, of uh, bacteria and affect the cell viability. Over here we can observe that uh, the accumulation of the graphene oxide flakes uh, with the nanoparticles inside the bacteria. The next step was what if we functionalize the graphene oxide with different types of uh, anti-cancer agent. And the first idea was the functionalization of the graphene oxide with the cis protein. This is that well-known uh, anti-cancer drug used in the different type of the cancer treatment, but the results was not so efficiently uh, present uh, in terms of the cell viability. And so we decided to switch that cis platinum by the uh, platinum nanoparticles, which has got also kind uh, of good uh, um, biological um, properties when we think about the uh, anti-cancer activity. So over here I can present, I present the, uh, the morphology of the cells, this is the colon cancer cells, the control, and the treated cells. So I means that those complex were introduced to this um, during the in vitro investigation against the cells and increase the cell death by the activated the cell, programmed cell death by apoptosis. Those, um, uh, those mechanism was also observed um, when, uh, when we uh, evaluated, evaluated those in the different type of the cancer cells. So it is not the cell-depending cell depending effect. Always 
our complex with the graphene oxide and the platinum nanoparticles affect you know, with the high efficiency the cancer cells, and so I mean that uh, those complex activate the cell death. So that was very promising for the next uh, so for the next step of the investigation. But let me start about the graphene oxide features. When we think about uh, it as a vector for the delivery of the genes or the micro RNA. So we can functionalize those graphene flakes by the different uh, methods, uh, but also we can um, combine those microRNA on the uh, surface of the graphene flakes by the von, van der Waals forces. Um, the graphene flakes also has got the ability to concede the genetic materials, present high ratio of the active surface to the mass volume, so we need very low concentration of the graphene oxide to deliver a high uh, level of the microRNA into the cancer cells. And about the biological properties that are efficiently, uh, that increase the efficiently efficiency of the graphene oxide as those vectors, we can point out that graphene flakes has a, uh, have ability to cross the cell membranes, uh, present the high affinity to the cell body, uh, but also can be accumulated at the size of the administration. Different type of techniques nowadays are used when we think about the efficiently, efficiency of uh, the gene delivery into the cancer cells. Those techniques are different. Uh, it can be the transfection, electroporation, and the viral ve vector. Now, nowadays, new types of the uh, transfection, uh, transfection techniques can be based on the carbon nanotubes uh, nanotubes, graphene oxide, and different types of the carbon allotropes. All of that techniques, as well those nano-base techniques, has got, uh, have got different advantages and disadvantages. But it is essential to know what about the biocompatibility of those uh, carbon-based vectors uh, for, the tr for the treatment of the cancer cells. So, it is great idea to introduce some of the new types of the vectors to treat the, one of the deadliest cancer uh, nowadays in the world. Those cancer, the, those type of the cancer is the glioblastoma. This is the most common type of the malignant gliomas. This is the brain tumor cancer, and it also presents the high viability, uh, via, viability about the. Uh, concentration of the dysregulation of the microRNA inside those uh, cancer tissue. We decide to use several types of the microRNA in our the investigation with the different types of application over here and the purpose of that application is what is mentioned over here. But the graphene oxide present also quite good biological features First of all, it stay at the size of the administration. So when we think about the glioblastoma and uh, uh, and uh, localization inside the bro inside the brain tissue, it will be nice to present some of the vectors which stay in the size of the administration. We verify those with the chicken brain and uh, we can, with the chicken brains. And we observed that most of the graphene, which was injected directly, stay at the size of the administration. But also, we, can, uh, we were able to observe the graphene oxide flakes uh, on, inside the tissue. Moreover, uh, uh, what is more, we also evaluate the biodistribution of the graphene oxide with more advanced in vivo model, and we observe that most of the graphene oxide stayed also over in that investigation at the size of the administration. So that gives us the opportunity to think that the direct intratumor injection of our graphene oxide con uh, complex with the microRNA can stay at the size of the administration and affect efficiently the cancer cells. We also verify the 
ability, the cancer ability, activity of the graphene oxide uh, against the glioblastoma. So over here we have the tissue samples from the control and they're treated with the different types of the graphene oxide. In all uh, cases, the administration of the graphene oxide caused the reduction of the size of the tumors, but also limited the size, uh, the cell viability. So taking those information together with the benefits of using the microRNA, it can be uh, more optimistic for the, for the future application, especially with the, uh, for the patient diagnosed with the glioblastoma. So we decide to create the complex with the graphene oxide, with the different types of the microRNA. Some of them were mimic uh, microRNA, some of them were antisense or often called the inhibitor. And we treat the glioblastoma, also one of the cells, cells type which were completely healthy, this is the fibroblast. Uh, introduce our complex and compare our results uh, to the standard techniques of the transfection by the electroporation. And what we obtain? We obtain that if we functionalize the graphene oxide with the microRNA, the connection between the particles of microRNA and the graphene was mainly done by the uh, Van der Waals process, but it stay uh, for the longer period of time when we think about the uh, loading capacity. So it presents quite good results about that. The entrapment efficiency also was above the 90%. So it was the great and uh, the kind of good information for the next step. So this is the transmission electron microscopy from our complex. And over here we can, over here we can see that the graphene oxide and those small dots were our microRNA on the surf, uh, surface of the graphene oxide. Next, we treat the cells with the graphene oxide and with the reduced graphene oxide. Those um, uh, two types, the, this is the two types of the graphene oxide. And the, the, there was a complex with the different microRNA with different types of the a glioblastoma cells line. What we observe and how we can so, um, uh, make those conclusions about those investigations that most of the graphene oxide stay very close to the cells and present the high efficiency and uh, high attachment to the cells membrane. So do not spread on the uh, surface between the cells, but act directly to the cells, these cancer cells. That was also observed against the different cells line, this those glioma, glioblastoma. About the cell viability, we also observed the reduced the viability with the more efficiently by presented by the, um, the graphene oxide comparing to the reduced graphene oxide. That uh, for the future investigation, that was quite uh, good information, and we still deal with those um, those results with the uh, with the follow-up uh, investigation. We also verified the transfection efficiency. So, comparing to the control, we used the fluorescent dye to see is it possible when we functionalize with those fluorescent dye, the graphene oxide, the, the graphene oxide with the microRNA nanosystem or only the microRNA, is it possible, possible to observe any differences between the level of the transfection efficiency? And it turns out the graphene oxide with the microRNA and this fluorescent dye accumulate at the highest uh, concentration at the cell's body. So not the graphene oxide with the fluorescent dye, not the electroporation, those complex efficiently deliver the microRNA into cancer cells. That was also observed against the different cells line, the glioblastoma. And we also verify, is it possible that our graphene oxide activates some of the pathways? 
So we verify those um, gene expression level and also the protein expression level, those proteins and those genes which are related to the cell death. And it so sounds that the most, fam the most familiar or connected with the uh, cell death uh, proteins like the Bax, the caspate 8 were increased after the administration of the graphene oxide with the microRNA 21st. So this complex was the most efficiently uh, efficient against the glioblastoma cells in, in the aspect of the activation of the cell death. Also the gene expression level shown that the, pro, in the genes related to the apoptosis was increased after the administration of those complex into the cancer cells. We also verify because we know that uh, all of the drug delivery system, uh, all of the also uh, the um, gene delivery system supposed to be safety and uh, present a high biocompatibility against the uh, normal tissue, but uh, also with the high efficiency delivered those uh, molecules inside the cancer cells. So we also evaluate the uh, cytokines levels, expression levels, and it turns out that our investigation, our complex comparing to the normal electroporation, the standard method of transfection, reduce uh, concentrate uh, the expression of um, uh, cytokines which are related to the inflammatory reaction of the cells. Next, to, uh, the, going to the conclusion, I would like to say that our nanostruction obtained during uh, our research product, uh, research project, which is the complex of the graphene oxide and the microRNA 21st, present the high efficiently uh, efficiency when we think about the microRNA delivery into the cancer cells, also reduce the viability of the different, four different types of the cancer cells line, and activate the program itself death, which is the goal of every single investigation when we think about the anti-cancer molecules, anti-cancer agent. I would like to thank you also my colleagues from our departments uh, for the collaboration uh, and uh, I would like to uh, say thank you for the audience, uh, also the audience. And this is our, the website. If you have any questions relating to our project, don't hesitate, just write to us the email. Thank you for your attention.